take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. Intro. Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to a vlog video. Um, if you guys didn't notice um, in the community post, I put a poll uh, basically talking about, or I mentioned that I walked out of my job. Um, not something that I'm proud of, but I mean, uh, there's a real good reason why I did what I did. Now look, <clears throat> to give you guys full context, let me go back to what led up to me making this um, decision so what happened was um, every Sunday I work with this 20 year old kid and emphasis on the word kid uh, because he's still you know I don't want to grow up I'm a Toys R Us kid in the head um, it all started about I want to say roughly about about a month ago um, there was uh, ordinarily every Sunday I work in a in a guard shack uh, where we have an inbound and outbound um, uh, for the uh, for, for the trucks that come in and will either pick up or make deliveries and we got to log them into a computer system right the guard shack um, has two two uh, workstations two computers for two officers to be in the guard shack well uh, what happened was about a month ago one of our computers was down and I figured because on Sundays, I'm scheduled to be the rover. For those of you who don't know what a rover is, it's basically a mobile security officer. Um, and the guy that, and this kid, excuse me, that I shared the guard shack with on Sundays, he he's scheduled to be in the guard shack anyway. So I had a plan. I had a strategy on how we can make this day work because I made sure to let him know, like, hey, look, one of our computers is down, but it's only going to be down just for this one day all right and so it doesn't make any sense for two officers to be in the guard shack when we only have one working computer and being that sundays are slowest days we don't get that many trucks anyway you know why don't i you know do my rover duties you know what i'm saying secure the perimeter making sure that you know there's no transients uh no one's getting their property damage or anything so that way we all look good you know what i mean i'm doing something you're doing something you know what i mean um, and keep in mind, this kid has a very piss poor work ethic, shows up to work late on a consistent basis, basically. And, and he has like this mindset, like, like he basically runs the place and, or like he owns the place because he can basically do whatever he wants. He can show up to work whenever he feels like it, like as if he's the boss and he's not the boss. Um, he can, uh, yell and scream at you should he decide that he no longer likes you. If, you know, if he's no longer feeling you, you know what I mean? You can't talk to him, but he can yell and scream at you all all, all he wants, right? So he um, <laughs> basically threw, threw a bitch fit, you know, um, after I threw out this little strat with him. He, he was basically asking, like, well, is that how the other shifts do it? I'm like, you know, what? how the other shifts work, that's none of our business. You know what I mean? Um, again, I should tell you the mindset of this kid. Um you know, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about the other shifts because that's none of my business. That's none of your business. You know what I mean? I'm talking about, you know, our shift. This is our situation. This is our shift. This is what I'm scheduled to do. This is what you're scheduled to do. So I say we follow that. You know what I mean? Just for, and it's just for today. You know what I mean? And funny enough, on that day, we didn't really get hardly any trucks. We only got maybe like one or two trucks. And they're like hours apart from each other. So he's trying to make it seem like I'm trying to dump off the workload all on him, which is not true because, like I said, I'm the rover, you know what I mean? So it's not like I'm not doing anything. I'm trying to do my part, you know what I mean? You should just, you know, chill out, do your part, you know what I mean? And again, it's just for this week, you know what I mean? Come The very next day, the computer will be back up and running again, so we'll have two computers again. It's just for this one day, you know what I mean? Sounds like sounds like a no-brainer, right? Like like no big deal, Like like we should have it handled? No. This dude wants to make life harder on himself and on others, you know what I mean, when there's really no no real legit reason to. Um, but anyway, um, so a few weeks go by. I haven't been working the past few Sundays, whether it's, you know, because, you know, family commitments or um, illness. You guys, As you guys know, I'm still recovering from COVID. So uh, just the other day, um, 
well, before I get ahead of myself, uh, a week after that day where the computer was down and we had our little blow up, blow up or whatever, um, even though I don't feel like I was in the wrong, I was willing to put my, set my pride, put, you know, put aside my pride, whatever, and, um, try to be the bigger person and try to have a private discussion with this kid. <clears throat> the, the previous shift w were in the guard shack. So I made sure to, to shut the door. So that way they're not part of the conversation. They're not part of the BS or whatever. And they don't have to hear us. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to, you know, cause I'm trying to, you know, treat this kid with, with the proper work ethic, work, um, etiquette and the proper respect even though he was out of pocket i was willing to overlook all that like whatever you know what i mean because i have to work with him so the least i can do is try to make peace and try to get along with him so uh <clears throat> so i'm trying to you know talk to him as nice as and, and as cool as i can possibly be like hey man can i can we can we talk and before i can really you know get any more words in dude cuts me off and is just telling me off basically and as he's telling me off his tone is getting higher his behavior is getting more erratic more unreasonable he opens up the sliding door uh entrance to the guard shack so now the previous shift can hear everything that's going on i'm trying to keep the conversation private he's bringing the conversation to the previous shift and he's basically running his mouth about uh, anyone and everyone on the rest of the team about me and everything and i'm just like you know what whatever dude i'm a grown-ass man i ain't got time for that kind of nonsense you want to be that little punk whatever talk your shit talk your shit dude i mean it makes you look like the weaker person you know what i'm saying when you do that kind of shit when you're about that drama and whatever and you run your mouth about you know your colleagues to your other colleagues it makes you look bad you know what i mean uh, one of my colleagues cared enough to ask me for, for my side of the story. So I basically just gave my side of the story. I wasn't even talking down on the kid or anything. I just gave my side of the story. Like, no, this is what really happened. You know what I mean? Because I wanted people to, to see, like, how I, what, what kind of person I am versus the kind of person this kid is. You know what I mean? So if anyone cared to hear my side, I would share my side. If anyone didn't, then i keep to myself. You know what I mean? Because um, my whole thing is like, hey, if you really want to know, just ask and I'll tell you. You know what I mean? If you don't care, then don't ask. Don't don't ask, and I won't tell. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so after that incident, and and, and I'm reporting to to my superiors because uh, that's part of the, the security gig. You know what I mean? If you're in a hostile working environment, your colleague is acting an ass or whatever, you report it to your superiors. So that's what I'm. That's what I do. I don't like being a snitch, but that's part of the job. That's what I get paid to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, um, now, again, as I mentioned earlier, I was off the past few Sundays because, again, either family commitment or I'm recovering from COVID. And so the other day, um, according to my immediate supervisor that I work with on the first two days of my work week, she told me, first things first, um, just come to the lobby, get the key to the golf cart. Because as the rover, I'm the only one that's certified to drive the car golf cart that we have on site i know as funny as that sounds um i'm the only one who's certified to drive that golf cart so i, I so again you know just out of respect for my superior you know what i mean i'm just following orders you know what i mean and i go get the key to the cart so when old boy shows up uh she says yeah when he shows up you guys are not going to share the guard shack together just get in the cart and drive and if he has a problem tell him, tell him to call me and so that's what I did. Um, got in the cart, took off, was, you know, driving around, do, you know what I mean, doing my patrols and whatever. And um, I came back, you know, um, after two hours, I was going to go give the lobby receptionist their breaks or whatever. But I guess old boy wanted to do it instead. So whatever, I let him do it. And I covered for him in the guard shack. <clears throat> Waited for him to come back. He came back, jumped back in the cart, took off. You know what I mean? Trying to make our day as easy as possible. You know what I mean? Stay out of his way. I wanted him to stay out of my way, so I'll stay out of his way, <clears throat> you know, so, but anyway, um, while I'm trying to do my, my mobile patrol duties, this dude decides to jump in his car, you know, chase me down, pull up to me, and is screaming at me, telling me shit like, you know, you're, I'm going to be real with you, bro, you're really pissing me off, trying to dump, you know, the whole entire workload on me and all this and that, blah, 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 and everything, you know, get your ass back to the guard shack and, and, and start logging in these, these trucks or whatever, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, and I'm trying to tell him, 
Like, dude, I, I'm not allowed to share that guard shack with you. You know what I'm saying? If you got a problem with that, take it up, or take it up with our with our supervisor. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I couldn't get a word into him edgewise. So, um, so, so not only was he not hearing me, but then he's raging at me at this point, telling me shit like, 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 stop talking to me! Don't talk to me! Stop talking! And he gets in his car and he and he mashes out. He he peels out and everything, and he basically leaves the guard shack and is now doing whatever, basically what, whatever he wants to do. And I was like, and unfortunately we had one truck that was trying to leave. So I went ahead and took care of this last truck that was trying to leave. And then at that point I was like, you know what? Screw this, man. This, it, it, it ain't worth me, you know, staying here and having to deal with this shit. So I said, you know what? Fuck this. You know what I mean? I took the key to the golf cart, keys to the gate, left them there at the guard shack. And I fucking dipped. I fucking dipped. And I told my, my, my boss too, like what, what was going on. And I basically told him like, you know what, dude, I'm leaving. I'm, you know, I basically like, I, like, I, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Cause you guys let this kid do whatever he wants. He gets to show up, you know, whenever he feels like showing up, he gets to now, um, I can't talk to him, but he gets to yell at me whenever he feels like it. Like I'm nobody's punching back. I'm nobody's fucking punching back, dude. You know what I mean? It, if, if, if I was, you know, in my 20s or whatever, I would have knocked that kid out. I would have either knocked that kid out or I would have strangled his ass. You know what I mean? For treating me the way he did. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a grown-ass man. I ain't got time. You know what I mean? I'm a grown-ass man that's almost, almost you know, closing in on, on his 40s. You know what I'm saying? Fuck do I look like, you know, get into a fight with some little 20-something-year-old kid. This kid's the same age. That's like me fighting with my nephew. I have a nephew who's the same age as this kid. You know what I'm saying? And so it's and, and so I was like, yeah, man. I mean, it's it's not freaking worth it. I am not about to go to jail over this kid. I'm not about to, you know, throw my life away for this kid or whatever and waste my time on this bullshit. Like, fuck this, dude. You, you don't you can't pay me enough to deal with this shit. So I dipped. And um the client manager who is um both mine and my superior's boss, he calls me up and basically and this dude Oh my God, man. This dude had the nerve to tell me like, you know, well, how dare you guys call me and your supervisors, you know, on your time off because we put in the work all week. Like, dude, don't give me that shit. You guys chill in the office all week. Don't give me that shit. You chill in the office all week and, oh, how dare I and this other, and this kid, you know, call you on your time off? Well, I'm sorry, but you knew what you signed up for. You're in charge of a, of a security company. It is your responsibility to make sure that the officers that you provide to these clients are of quality, are quality officers. So how do you think it looks to the client, right? And to the rest of the team, when you got an officer right here, you know what I mean? Who lacks the maturity, you know what I'm saying? Who lacks logic and common sense and common knowledge, you know what I'm saying? To understand, you know what I mean? Who can't seem to understand, you know, how the security how the, the, the security field works, how the job force works. This is the job force in California, apparently, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, it's okay to show up to work whenever you feel like it and, you know, freaking chew out your, your co-workers' heads because you're no longer feeling them and you don't like them anymore. So I was like, man, like, fuck this shit, man. You guys don't pay me enough to deal with that shit, so I dipped. And, and uh, right now, as of right now, I don't know if I'm still going to have a job with the company or not. Um, I did talk to one of my, my, my supervisors. He's trying to work with me. Um, he actually gave me a call not too long ago, just a little bit ago, uh, prior to me making this video, basically telling me, you know, so this is why I'm trying to, you know, protect the name of the security company and protect the name of the people involved because, I mean, I'm not trying to put the spotlight on people who don't deserve it, you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, I'm making sure I'm protecting myself in case I, in case I'm still employed with this company. But um, <clears throat> my boss basically told me, my, su my supervisor who called me, he basically told me, like, he assured me that I didn't do anything bad, I didn't do anything wrong, um, and then asked me if I was going to go back into work, you know, the next day I'm due back in. And I straight up told him, well, that depends on what y'all do with this kid. If that kid is still at that site, then no, I'm not going back. If you guys reassign him, like, I don't even want this kid to get fired. I really don't. Even though I, I feel like he deserves to be fired, 
I don't want him to be fired. I'd rather he just gets reassigned. <laughs> reassigned him to a lesser paying site so that way he can learn. Okay, I'm at this other site now. I'm making less money. And all because of what? Oh, because, you know, I showed up to work. I kept showing up to work late. And then I, you know, I yelled at somebody, you know what I mean, at, at work. I screamed at somebody at work. Okay, this, this is my punishment for it. You know what I mean? I know. I'm wishful thinking. I'm probably giving this kid more credit than he deserves. But, I mean, but he needs to learn. He needs to understand. You know what I mean? And that, because think about what kind of message does that send the, the rest of your team? When you have this kid that comes in and basically just does does whatever he wants, you know what I mean? That can do whatever he wants and not have to worry about any real consequence. What are you gonna do? Oh, talk to him, lecture him. I mean, what what good does that do when he's still doing? He still re, you know is repeating the same behaviors over and over and over and over and over and over again. This is a kid who supposedly lives 10 minutes away from the job site, but yet, okay, you live 10 minutes away from the job site, but yet tell me why this kid is always either a half hour late or 45 minutes late. And he works the easiest shift. He works second shift, swing shift. That's like the easiest shift to be on time for. So you got second shift, you're 10 minutes away, Meanwhile, I live a half hour away without traffic, but yet I always leave an hour before I start my job because like like clockwork, there's always traffic whenever I go to work and come home from work. There's always traffic. So by the time I get to work, it takes me about 40, roughly about 40 to 45 minutes to get to work. But still, I'm always on time. So if someone like me who has to fight through traffic, you know what I'm saying, can get to work on time. What excuse does this does this punk kid have, you know what I mean, that supposedly lives 10 minutes away from the job site? So, I'm sorry, but I, I can't be at a place where the rules don't apply to everybody. I can't be at a place where I have to deal with people like that. It's not my job to babysit. If anyone's babysitting, any, you know, around at that place, it's me. I'm babysitting. You know what I'm saying? And my babysitting duties are over. The last person I babysat was, was my niece. I love my niece very much. You know what I mean? Didn't have, don't have a problem with that. But that was it. That was the last of my babysitting duties. You know what I'm saying? My niece, my nephews, they're a little older now. They live far too far away from me. So, you know, <clears throat> my, like I said, my, my babysitting duties are over. You know what I mean? My part in helping to raise these kids, you know what I mean? That part, that part unfortunately, it, it's over. That doesn't mean that... Um, that, that I love them any less or anything like that. No, so, you know what I mean? That's my niece. It's my nephews. You know what I mean? I love those kids like, like, like they're my own. But anyway, it's not about them. <clears throat> it's about this kid. <clears throat> you know what I mean? This kid, he's nobody to me. Even if, even if this kid was my nephew, if my nephew was working with me and he was displaying this kind of behavior, I would check his ass. I would check his ass and I would do the ugly part of my job without hesitation. And I would explain to him, you know... <clears throat> And I would explain that to him. I'd be like, look, just because, you know, we're, we're family, we're related, that doesn't mean that you get to dick around and, you know, fuck off and whatever and, you know, expect me to cover for you. No. If you're going to be here. You're going to do your job. You're, you're going to be, you're, you're going to, you know, help me set an example of what a quality security officer is. You know what I'm saying? You're going to show up on time. You're not going to complain. You're going to do your job. You know what I'm saying? And if you have a problem with any of those things, then I will do the ugly part of my job. I don't want to do the ugly part of my job, but if I have to to teach you a lesson, I will. If I worked like that, I would fire me. I would reassign me. I've asked myself this kind of question. This is, and this is the kind of question that I think a lot of people need to ask themselves. If you have this kind of work ethic where you're always late, right? And you, um, you know, Act, the, act an ass towards your colleagues and shit. Would you hire you or would you fire you? I would, I would fire me if I if I display that kind of behavior. I fire me if I had that kind of work ethic. I fire me. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And I would also explain to my nephew again, going back to you know, if my nephew was working with me, I would explain to him too. Don't take it personal because it's not personal; it's business. It has nothing to do do with, do with with anything being personal. It's business. That's how that's how 
Welcome to the workforce. That's how the workforce works. Or at least that's how it should work. But apparently some places don't seem to understand that. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. That's why I left. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like there's some favoritism going on. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and it's funny, you know what I mean? Because I, I'm seeing stuff on the internet about... Cause I, I don't want to make this a race thing either. So I don't know what I'm about to say the wrong way. But it's like... You know, it, I, I hear people talk about all the time about this whole white privilege thing. And yet, there's people who are not white getting away with all kinds of shit. Especially some shit, you know, at the workforce. Yeah, apparently if you're not white, you can do whatever you want. At least that's the message that I'm getting when I'm seeing people like this, you know, being able to do whatever they want. Showing up late and being confrontational with their co-workers and shit being hostile with their co-workers and shit yeah. <clears throat> I'm just saying uh, I hope that uh, you know certain companies especially companies in California I hope they're watching this video because I want you know employers to think about the kind of message that they're sending to their teams when you allow people to get out of line and not have to worry about any real consequence. To show up to work whenever they feel like without having to worry about, you know, any real consequence. Lectures are not enough. What happened to the, the whole write-up system? You know what I mean? I, I remember a time when if you got three write-ups because you weren't a quality worker, then you, you were done. This kid should have been written up and removed from this side a long time ago but they, they, they let him do whatever the hell he wants and until they do something about him yeah I, I don't think I'm going back if they do something about him where he's either reassigned or fired then I'll go back it's it's that simple I shouldn't have to go above and beyond to prove myself when you got punks like this that can just do whatever the hell they want and they still have a job that's, that's just not right. Anyways, y'all. That's pretty much all I got to say about that. Um, let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. Do you think I did the right thing? Do you think I'm right? You know what I mean? In my views or whatever. Um, do you think I'm wrong or whatever about, you know, this whole situation? Um, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. We can definitely have a conversation about it. You know what I mean? It's all the way good. Um, but, yeah. The, the 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 job force man i don't know something something needs to, needs to change it needs to go back to the way it used to be you know what i mean it, it needs to start being strict again a little more strict again let's make the workforce great again Bruh. anyways it's your boy jason jv saying y'all take care have a blessed one catch y'all next one peace